Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix FC24 connection problems. So if you're trying to play the game online with your friends or just join into an online match, but you keep getting disconnected or you're getting some sort of network error message, then the methods that I will be showing you in this video will hopefully resolve the problem that you're having. Now, the first thing that you want to do is head on over to Google and just type in internet speed test. Now you need to run an internet speed test just to ensure that you're not having any connection issues with your ISP. So you want to just make sure your internet connection is running smoothly. So all we need to do is click on run speed test. And as you can see, my download speed there is absolutely fine. I'm getting the correct download speed. And we just want to ensure that the upload speed is also correct as well. Because if any one of these two options, download or upload is saying zero, then you're going to have problems and not even be able to connect to the game. So I can see there straight away, my upload is also fine. Now, the next thing that you want to do is just simply close down your web browser and open up a program that I created called Easy Gaming Utility. Now you can get this by clicking on the link in the description below. As you can see, I'm on the pro version. You don't need the pro version. You can just use it on the free version, what I'm about to show you. But if you do buy the pro version, then thank you for the support. We now need to click on the network tab and we then need to click on clean next to clear DNS cache files. So once you have cleared the DNS cache files, go ahead and try and launch the game and see if that resolved the network issues you're having. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is click on reset next to reset network adapter. This is going to reset your network adapter settings. So once you have clicked on that, go ahead and restart your computer and then try the game again. If that didn't resolve the issue that you're having, then the next thing that you need to do is close down Easy Gamer, right click on the network adapter icon in the bottom right hand corner and go troubleshoot problems. Now run through some troubleshooting methods and see if the um, troubleshooting can detect any problems. If it didn't, like you can see there, it couldn't identify any problems, then happy days, that's all fine. Which now brings us onto your security software. If you have a third party security program installed on your computer, then it could be blocking FC24 and also the EA anti-cheat. So you've got two options. You need to try and figure out how to add it to the exception list or the allow list, or you can disable your security software or put it into a passive or a game mode or something like that, and then launch the game and see if you have the same problems. If you don't, then you definitely know that you do need to somehow allow the game and the EA anti-cheat. But just remember, if you do disable your security software, then you might not be protected from security threats. So just be careful. Now, if you're using Windows Firewall, all you need to do is open up the Start menu and just type in Defender. You now need to click on Windows Defender Firewall. If you don't see the option, then just type in Windows Defender Firewall and then click on Allow an app or feature through the Windows Defender Firewall. You now need to click anywhere on the list and just press F on your keyboard. As you can see there, I've got FC24 and it's got a tick next to public. If you don't see the game in the list, then you need to click on change files, go on to allow another app, browse, and then browse for the .exe. So mine, I'm going to go to location now quickly. So as you can see, I'm now in the game's location and you can see fc24.exe there. So all I'd need to do is click on open and then click on add and then just tick public. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that resolved the issue that you're having. If that didn't help, then the next thing you need to do is just close down the firewall settings, right click on the start menu icon and then go to device manager. You then need to expand network adapters and you then need to simply right click on your network adapter and go update driver and then go search automatically. As you can see, I do have the latest driver, but that's only what Windows can detect. I might actually be able to go to the Realtek website and download a even newer driver. So you can also go to the manufacturer's website for your network adapter and see if there's a newer driver available. Once you've installed the latest driver, if there was one available, go ahead again and try the game. If that didn't help, then the next thing you need to do is right click on your network adapter and then go disable device. This is now going to disconnect you from the internet. Once you've done that, go ahead and right click on it again and then go enable device. This is just going to give the adapter a nice refresh. Now that does pretty much bring me to the end of this video. The other thing that I'd suggest you try doing is just restarting your router. 
so you'd obviously need to make sure that no one else within your household is using the internet as it will disconnect them from the internet. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did click the like button below and if you want to see more computer sluggish videos then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe then I will see you in the next one.